How's it going, y'all? Coach Nick here with Valor Fitness, and today we're going to go over the step-by-step -step assembly of the BD62. So when you get your boxes, open them up, lay your parts up, make sure that you have everything here. Uh, when we go to the manual, we're going to see that we're going to need a 17 millimeter ratchet, a 17 millimeter wrench, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, once you make sure that you have all your parts laid out, go ahead and move them off to the side so that you've got your working space here in front of you, and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start here on page 8 of the manual where we're going to start with the frame of the BD62. So we're going to need part 37, 28, 29, and 38. And the thing that I want you to look at is the way that the bolts go in. They go in facing front to back on either side. And when we put the bolts in, we're going to put them in finger tight to start off. Slide it through the first part. And then make sure that this fits in the groove of these lips. Then we're going to put a washer on the other side and our hand tight nut. I'm going to do the same thing here on the back side. And if you're putting these on, these two pieces look the same. Make sure that this back piece has these two holes here on top because that's where we're going to end up putting those long bars. And then before you put on that washer, we're going to slide on this rear wall mount. And you got to hold it pretty tight because of how it stands, it wants to tip back. Like so. When you keep that finger on there, you hold it nice and tight, it won't move. We're going to do the same thing here on the other side. Good. And we're going to use our tools here, we're going to tighten them down. Now that we're done building the base, we're going to start building vertically. So we're going to prepare our slide rails. So page nine, if you take a look, we're going to put these rubber stoppers on here first. Slide them on. You're going to get this sliding mechanism here. And you want to make sure you get it just right on there. And then last but not least, you're going to be these little washers here that you put down at the bottom. They can be kind of hard, so if you need to use the floor almost as a wedge, there you go. And then make sure you get both of them here. And the last one here, sometimes you can get it on with your fingers, sometimes you can't. And if you can't, that's okay. Again, just use the floor. Boom, slide it up a little bit because we're eventually we're going to be putting it on this frame here. Now with these slide rails done, we got to put them into the base frame of the BD-62. So you're going to take your 20 millimeter countersunk bolt. You're going to have it in one hand, preferably on the bottom side of the frame. You're going to take your slide rail here, and I want you to tip down the frame so that the bolt goes right in. And then right here, we use our Phillips head screwdriver and turn it in. Get it hand tight, not too tight. You don't want to bend the metal. Don't want to bend the frame. That's way too tight then, and the piece of equipment will not work as efficiently. Good, so that's hand tight there. Now it's already at this perfect angle here, so we're gonna slide it in. Again, line up the thread. Now with these slide rails in place, we're gonna take our plate loader. We're gonna slide it over the top here. Now, if you're a little bit shorter, my advice would be grab some kind of a stepping stool. And then we're gonna slide it down. Now, it fits snug, so you might run into a couple issues here, like I did getting it down, but it should slide down pretty quick. Now, don't let it drop down either, especially when you're using it. Just slide it down nice and gingerly. Next up here, we're gonna put our rail here in the front, you want the holes to face front to back. 
and we're going to get our 50 millimeter bolt here. We're going to put it in front to back. Now you're going to lift up this rail here, slide the bolt in, keep it lifted so it goes all the way through. And then we're going to throw that washer and hand tight that nut. So now we're going to make what I like to call the butterfly. So we're going to take piece 36 here, two 100 millimeter bolts, and pieces 39 here. It doesn't matter what side they go on because they're both the same thing. So what you're going to do is take your bolt with a washer on the bottom. You're going to insert slide 39 in between these bolt holes. You're going to slide that bolt through till it gets to the other side, bottom up. And then we're going to put a washer and our nut on top. Again, finger tight, nothing crazy. Same thing here on the other side. Slide part 39 through so the bolt holes line up. Drive it up. Washer on top. And nut on top. All right. Now you got your butterfly. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up. And then we're going to insert onto our slide rail here. So before we put the butterfly onto this rail here, this pull pin has to be threaded out a little bit. So unscrew it just so there's a little bit of thread left. We're going to place it on top like so. Again, if you're a little bit shorter, make sure you've got that nice sturdy stool. Now it's going to come down and make that noise. That means it's hitting the pull pin. So just pull the tip out and it'll come down here. So now we're just hitting this top red gasket here. And once we get past that, keep the pull pin pulled out because if not, it'll lock into a certain spot. So what I like to do is lock it to about uh, chest height. So I go down one more and then screw it in so it stays in position. All right now when we go to tighten these bolts, it's up at eye level and we have no problem tightening it up. Now when you're tightening these bolts here, you don't want them too tight. Once you start hitting a fair bit of resistance, go ahead and stop because you want these to actually be able to move because when you're performing a movement, these need to be able to rotate and actually go up and down just a little bit, right? So tight, but not too tight. Let's go ahead and flip over to page 10. We're going to start with part 30 and we're going to place it here on top to connect all the rails together. so that it lines up here with our back rail. Let's go ahead and get it hand tight. We'll do the same thing here on the other side. Slide it in, finagle it down. Okay, we're going to get it hand tight here and go ahead and tighten it up. Again, not too tight. You don't want to compress the rail. You want it enough so you get a decent little bit of resistance. Now we're going to take our 50 millimeter bolt that has two washers and one nut on it. And we're going to slide it through so these two front parts can match. So make sure those bolt holes line up. Slide your washer through. Slide your nut on top. Again, let's go ahead and get it finger tight and ratchet it down just to get a little bit of resistance and then we're all set. Now that we have part 30 secured on the top of the BD-62, we're going to go ahead and put the wall mount in. So what I recommend is you get the wall mount, you line up the bolt holes, go ahead and place the bolt through so it matches on the other side. Now use one hand to hold it in place and the other side slide on your washer like so, and your nut 
Now just hand tight, but now look, now it hangs and you can go ahead and grab your other bolt and washer, line it up on one side, through to the other. See now it's just hanging out, slide that washer on, get your nut, same thing, we'll make it hand tight. Now once it's tight in there, go ahead and grab your tools and tighten it up. Again, when you tighten these up, just tighten it so you get a little bit of resistance. Don't crush in the metal. Now we have the main frame of the BD62 all set up. Next, we have to go to our pulley system. You're gonna have a shorter cable and a longer cable. We're first gonna start off with this longer cable here. I personally like to roll it out, get any knots out that may be in it from unrolling it. And then we're gonna start here on our left butterfly wing. And then I also like to keep some of these smaller nuts and bolts in my pocket, just so they're easier to reach and a couple of the pulleys as well. So we're gonna start here on this bottom pulley on the left side. Go ahead and undo the nut, one of the bolts. We're gonna slide the pulley in so all the bolts, holes match up. All right, again, a little finger dexterity. And we're just gonna slide it through. Now, I like to make sure that the thread is facing away from the user so that just in case, for instance, it rolls back and hits you, this blunt side of the bolt's gonna hit you and not this threaded side and possibly cut you up. So go ahead and get that one finger tight there. I'm ready to start. <clears throat> now that we have this first pulley in place, we're going to take our cable. It doesn't matter which end you use. They're both the same thing. We're going to slide it through here and just let it hang. We're going to take our other pulley. We're going to place it on top. Go ahead and get your bolt here, undo the nut and one of the washers. Again, make sure those bolt holes line up. Slide it through, thread side out. And go ahead and get your washer and your nut on the back side, tighten it up. We're ready to keep going. So now we have both pulleys in position one. We're gonna slide up the cable and the pulley into position two. Make sure that it falls in the groove of this rotating wheel here and it goes down the other side. I like to keep my bolts in my pocket just to make it a little bit easier so I don't have to keep bending down and up. And again, we're gonna take this bolt here, make sure the bolt holes line up, slide it through, washer on, and bolt on. Now from pulley two, we're gonna thread down to a pulley on part 33. For the time being, we're only gonna put one pulley in, but we're gonna eventually come back. Just make sure that this pulley stays on the left side. So we're gonna put the pulley in the cable. We're gonna slide the bolt holes through part 33 and through the pulley to the, get to the other side. I like to keep the washer off for the time being, so it's not something I have to deal with in the future. And then I just, roll that nut on and just let it hang there, All right? Now we're gonna get another pulley here and another bolt if you have one. Now if this part 33 starts to move around like this, it's totally fine. We just want something in place for the time being. So we're gonna get the cable in the pulley. We're gonna slide it up here to the back of part 30 and this pulley here on the left side we're gonna slide this bolt through. Make sure those holes line up so it's a good fit. Good, and now you can just let it hang. Put the washer on the pulley, excuse me, on the bolt. Tie that nut down. Boom, we're looking good. Now we're gonna take another pulley here. We're gonna thread the cable through, slide it here onto the plate loaded chassis. Undo your bolt and your washer. And we're gonna slide through here from front to back. 
Make sure the bolt holes line up. Now essentially everything you just did, you're going to do the same thing but in reverse order and on the right side. So we're going to grab our cable, we're going to feed it through the pulley here, you know, make sure you have that bolt in your pocket, and you're going to slide it up here into part five, take off that nut and that washer, slide it through. Now from part five, we're gonna feed that cable down into part 33. Make sure that pulley that you initially put in has the cable running through it and it stays to the left side. So I've got the washer on my hand that we didn't put on just yet. I'm gonna undo this nut. I'm gonna slide the bolt out. I'm gonna put the cable in part 33 and make sure that bolt is out just enough so that you can slide your pulley in with that cable going through the divot. Now, again, make sure everything lines up nice and neat. We put that washer back on, finger tight nut, and there we have it. Now from the right side of part 33, we're gonna take this pulley, put the cable over top, we're gonna slide it up into part six. And then go ahead again and slide that bolt through and throw that washer and nut on. Now we're going to go from part six to part seven. That's the other side of the butterfly wing, the right side in particular. You're going to take your pulley. You're going to slide it through. Again, make sure those holes line up. And make sure, again, the thread is facing away from the user. And this blunt rounded side, if it makes contact with you, is not going to hurt as much. And then... Make sure the ball is up in between the two pulleys and we're going to feed that bolt through as well. Now we've completed the long cable, we're going to move on to page 12 and we're going to work on our short cable that has two different sides. One has a bolt on it, the other has a metal circle. We're going to start here with the bolt and we're going to feed it through the back of our butterfly from the bottom up. Now once that bolt is all the way through, the nut that you'd already taken off, go ahead and slide that on top and spin that bad boy all the way down. Now that we have that bolt threaded all the way through, we're going to take the nut that was on it, we're going to tighten it down. Now we're going to take this cable, we're going to run it down to these two uprights. It's going to go through with the cable and then we're going to put our pulley on top. We're going to grab one of those bolts in our pocket feed it through and hand tighten it. Now that we have part two done, we're gonna feed that cable up from front to back inside the bottom of 33 where there's only one position for one pulley. We're gonna line those bolt holes up Slide the bolt through, it doesn't matter which way. Now it's okay if those cables don't line up perfectly just yet. As long as they're in the right position, we can feed them through. And then as time goes on, We'll go ahead and tighten all these down. Then you're gonna take the carabiner that you attach to the end of this metal, and we're gonna slide it through this bottom hole here. And 
and it's okay if your weight peg goes up and down a little bit. Now we have the shorter cable put into the system. We gotta tighten everything down. A quick tip on the pulleys, tighten them down so you get a little resistance back. You don't wanna scrunch them down so hard that you actually pinch the metal. Once you've got them all fastened down, there shouldn't be any slack in the cable system. It should look like this, nice and taut. We need to install our handles. So take one of the carabiners, place them on any one of the metal triangles. You're gonna insert it into the hole here. And once we attach it to the wall, the build is complete. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope this video helped you out. If you have any further questions or need any further assistance, the back of your manual has our contact information. You can give us a call or email us at info at valorfitness.com.